what is up guys welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today i am back with another big unboxing for you for the oneplus 5t and today we're back with a carbon bumper style case this one's going to be from a company from zadelco i believe is the name of it i could be wrong could be butchering that so i do apologize if that's the case but the nice thing about this it comes with a temper glass screen protector at least that's what it says in the subject line so along with the case you're getting a temper glass screen protector for about 15 16 bucks on prime depending on what color you get i think i got the black version it comes in like a green like a champagne silver and then like a pink color as well so quite a few different color options out of two reviews three and a half stars so you know not the best but we'll check it out and see if it's a hit or miss guys let's go ahead and get to the presentation like always looks decent actually it says high quality it actually looks pretty nice from the actual back it doesn't look like it's cheap maybe i'm curious to see the actual feel of it if it's close to like the official one plus five or not up for just like a kind of a, a texture that's different so we'll check it out though this is high quality blah 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 basic presentation nothing to it let's go and get to the unboxing guys see if this is a hit or miss i know you guys looking forward to the one plus five or one plus six coming out I and mean, they're announcing that pretty soon i believe in a couple of weeks so i'm kind of curious to see how it's going to be a lot of the specs and everything's already been you know it's been out there the notch and all that good stuff but we'll take it like it is and if it's a notch we'll deal with it i guess guys not my favorite thing but we'll deal with the notch oh wow they come with two temper glass screen protectors so shout out to them let's see plastic back carbon fiber well let's check this out. i believe it's two temper glass screen protectors let's check this out so yeah got a temper glass and i believe this is full adhesive so shout out to them for providing a temper glass and then i believe this is a second one and then just want to make sure it's not like a back cover or something like that but i believe this is the same thing so they give me two tempered glass screen protectors nice job there i mean how many you usually don't get one tempered glass screen protector let alone two so shout out to them for that now here's the actual case itself this is definitely different it's got mm, i wouldn't say it's a premium feeling to it but this is more of a plasticky hard shell it's close to being like a metal feel, but it's more, you can more plasticky feel to it for the OnePlus 5T. Saw that right there. That's pretty nice. doesn't have a terrible feel to it. It's more industrial. doesn't feel too bad. I do like one thing, those bumpers, you can see those bump around the edges, how they're reinforced on all four corners. So that's a nice little added touch as well. So I'm kind of curious if this pops out or what, because it's kind of flimsy whatever no big deal but it's, this is kind of flimsy this is like a hard shell bumper around it you can kind of just hear that almost hear that so it's just definitely a different style case i actually like the way it looks a lot definitely premium looking and this is again this is going to be different feeling than the official one for sure the official one plus five carbon fiber has got that soft feel to it just very premium natural feel this feels more like a sticker ish you know it doesn't look almost like a sticker but it kind of feels like a skin or a sticker so let's go and pop one of these on guys and see if, how this is anytime they throw in a screen protector what can you say about that for under 20 bucks so we're going to do a quick wipe down of the screen do a quickie on this one and see if this one you know works every once in a while you get a good one i think the one i did a a few days ago for the one plus five came with the screen protector and honestly it was a pretty good one it was full adhesive so you really can't beat that a case plus a full adhesive screen protector it wasn't the perfect one but for that price point you can't really beat it so what i'm doing just wiping it down we're just going to do a quickie on here so if there's a little bit of lint whatever we'll just go with it for this demonstration purposes so wipe it down wipe it down and then what i always do is kind of take tempered glass screen protector itself now this is going to be your back so this is what you're going to come off first so you're going to pull this off first and that's actually going to be the mask for the sticker so you're going to peel it off first so what we're going to do is basically kind of line this up just right and i always base it upon where my front facing camera is and you can see there's basically just going to be a cutout completely cut out of top so that's how you're going to do the alignment and then use your fingers to kind of work the edges a little bit as well so we'll take that out like that 
definitely full adhesive so shout out to them for providing a full adhesive tempered glass screen protector for that price point you can't beat that so let's go and try to get lined up it's a little difficult that honestly could have been a little bit better but I'm trying to make this work can't beat the price point though I definitely butchered that let me try it again definitely didn't get it lined up right it's a little bit short around the edges you want to kind of make sure you're getting it centered as much as possible so you're not having any type of light bleed on the edges I think that's okay let's check it out move it up just a little bit we'll go with it and yeah, it's still lopsided let me try it again guys failing over here usually I'm pretty decent at this failing it's tough to do behind the camera plus it's a little bit shorter on the edges so that makes it a little challenging. Let's go ahead and do it this way then. And it's a little bit short around the edges. That does make it a little tougher. But we'll go with it. Hopefully that's good enough. We're just going to roll with it now. And you can see the adhesive adhering. So nice job. There it actually looks pretty good. Let me see if it's... You know, sometimes they got the ones around the, the bubbles around the edges that just don't come out. But this is going to be full adhesive. And you can see it all adhering. So let's check this out. Wipe it down again. And one thing I would say, guys, that's full, you know, full adhesive. It's a little bit short around the edges. Not crazy, though. But you're not seeing any type of, uh, you know, it's laying properly on the sides, which is very nice. You do have the top part exposed. And it's just a little bit short around the edges. But overall, guys, it's this nice feeling screen protector for that price. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm pretty impressed with that. Usually you get one of these that comes with a case and it's pretty janky. But honestly, this one's got that full adhesive. And you can see it does have that cutout up top. And it's a little bit short around the edges. But it appears that this one at least, it laid properly around the edges. It's not having that like little bubble around the edges that doesn't pretty much take right. So it does look very clean. So I'm, I'm impressed by that. So shout out to them for that. At least you're getting a nice tempered glass screen protector. Two of them for that price point. I'm kind of curious how this actually pops into place. Let's see. Because one thing I'm... Let's see. Maybe this pops out. There we go. This actually comes out. This comes out. All right. So this is, this is weird. Let's check this out. I wish they had some instructions. And if they did, I didn't read them. So we're just going to go with it. We're going to roll with it. So this is actually a bumper. And I think this goes on the back. So I thought that was really loose around the edges. Let me do this, guys. Let me put the video on pause. I'm going to try to do the, uh, read some stuff online, how to get this applied correctly. Because I'm actually very intrigued by this. Because it's definitely, you can tell the it's a hard material, hard plastic. And I believe it's a bumper style. So this should be applied like a bumper with the like, kind of a skin on the back of it. But this is actually going to be your skin per se so hold tight guys let me see if i can find something to actually get this installed correctly for you guys hold tight all right guys so i got to put on so basically i just reapplied the bumper now i i took the back plate off as you guys saw i placed the phone in with the bumper first and then went ahead and just kind of pushed in this back part into place and it kind of does go into place just right it you can even still hear i might have missed a couple corners but it does adhere properly. So it's definitely a different style case than anything I've seen for the OnePlus 5 brand in a while, which I'm actually very intrigued by this because how different it is. So the first thing you'll notice is you got the fingerprint sensor right there. It's very precisely cut. The one thing I would have said, it's kind of a sharp feeling. I wish the smoothness would have been a little bit easier to get to because it's just kind of a drop off so it doesn't feel as natural. You do have the OnePlus logo popping through right there. Camera cut out, just a little bit of camera protection. I would like to see just a little more camera protection because it does have a reinforced bump around the edges. So I just like to see maybe just a little more camera protection right there, but not the end of the world. Looks pretty nice. And in terms of overall feel and look, it's got a very rugged feel to it actually, because it's got this bumper that's got a plastic, it's like a metal plastic feel to it. And it does feel very premium, honestly. 
with the back set this is more of a plastic feel i wish this would have been a little more premium i wish they had done a better job with this feel to the back because i think if they would have done a better job with this back plate this would have been a certified big hit but overall i'm still impressed by what you're actually getting so far with this case now obviously we'll continue on with the review but this one does have my attention so again you can see where it's short around the edges right there so you are you might have a little bit of bleed i haven't checked it out yet you can see there's all that gap right there so you are getting a little bit it's very short around the edges i'm not saying very short i guess it's short enough that it could cause some glare coming out the sides but not the end of the world especially if it comes with the actual case itself so again you got these reinforced bumpers and this is actually like a grippy style bumper right there so this honestly if you do drop it and if it hits these i think you're good to go that's a nice little added touch now the alert slider is tough to get to i'm not gonna lie about that they could have done a better job with the alert slider because they did a lot of attention to detail in this case you can see that with the cutout being very precise but it's tough to get to takes some takes a little bit of time to get to it volume up and down they got that chromed out look right there clicky and responsive no issues at all looks nice it's covered up everything looks good on the bottom you got the speaker grill precise everything looks very nice and clean all the way around there and then the clicky and responsive for the power button so overall guys i would say this one you know let's check out lip protection i almost forgot the lip how could i forget about the lip really not a lot of lip protection you can see i would have liked to see just a little more lip protection they do throw in a tempered glass screen protector but especially with that gap around the edges i think they could have done a little bit better job of raising it just a little bit and then if they did that with these reinforced side edges that would have been really really nice so what i'm trying to say is they're going in the right direction with this, this is something different something new that i haven't seen on a lot of cases and so they're trying something different i think they're close to having something now this may be something that you guys want to check out especially if you're looking for a bumper this may be the way to go i'm not sure how this you know if you take this back plate off if it's compatible with the dbrand skin or whatever we'll check that out in a little bit later because the bumper itself is very premium feeling and i really like it so overall price point hit you get two tempered glass screen protectors hit so we'll say this one's definitely a hit obviously for the price point and then overall just being different we'll say this is a hit let me know what you guys think in the comment section though hit the subscribe button we'll see you guys next time